Hello everyone and welcome back to more Pokemon Futurist Case Pokemon Emerald Misfit Challenge. In this part, let's take out Roxanne. Now we're only going to be using Swampy in this. And if Swampy fails, we're going to end up losing. Plain and simple. So let's go. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Westboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle on the Switch Pokemon? I don't always battle, but when I battle, Roxanne gets pwned. I hope I don't end up saying that and then I'm screwed over in the end. Because most packs can be kind of difficult to take out, to be honest. There we go, level 12 Swampy. Yep, send out the next one. I need some levels on Swampy before I have a, before I'm forced to take on Mr. Evil. There we go. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be quite cheap right now. I don't see myself actually getting out of this battle too easily with that nose pass, so... Yeah, increasing your physical defense won't help you much. What I'm going to do is abuse it with sand. Make sure that its attacks really don't hit me that often. So that I can actually have somewhat of an advantage when when I get to send out Swampy. Come on, go down. Okay, that's bad. I sort of forgot he had that. Oh well. No matter if Swamp, if Black Dog can take you out, I won't really mind. Except the battle's gonna take forever. And I lost Swamp because of that block. Great. Alright. That's six, alright. So let's tackle it now. Sorry about the lag I'm experiencing right now, but oh well. Not like I'm gonna be doing it. Oh my god, that's sad. Then again, it can't do as much damage anyway. Might as well attempt to maximize his attack while I'm at it. Tackling at this rate won't do jack. Whoa, we hit! Whoa, we hit! This one I said I was gonna maximize his attack. That still didn't help me much. Oh, now he hits again. Anyway, his accuracy is really low, so I think Swampy can take him out now. You see why I didn't depend on Swampy alone? Oh, you're kidding me. So, now his attacks are hitting me. Worse than an inaccurate attack named, named Rock Tomb actually hit. I call hacks. I call hacks. Gym leaders are not supposed to have iron baby. Not fair to me. Come on, Swampy, take him out! One more water gun should do it. Of course, you're mean. Come on! You guys don't know how annoying this gym battle actually is. 
She is another one. Wow. That is downright mean. How oh, long it takes to get this thing's HP down? Let's go! Well... I realize I'm just saying let's go a lot. But anyway, that's the battle. Thank you for finally going down, Nose Pass. You still suck. And here we go. And that was Roxanne. So, so it seems I lost. Seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. A Pokemon needs to restate that trainers are to be given this if they defeat the gym leader. Place up the official Pokemon League Stone match. And we get the Stone Badge! From the hottest teacher in Pokemon history. The Stone Badge heightens the attack of power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use itch and move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. That technique comes in Rock Tomb. It only, not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but also lowers speed. If you, if you use a team, it instantly teaches the, the move to a Pokemon. Remember, Tim can only be used once again before you use it. I will not. Now, I'm gonna pretty much say this was a pretty long gym battle. For a first gym, to be honest. Get out! Out of my way! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! That's so wrong in so many ways. Anyway, we're gonna go help that guy out. The Misfit Challenge is now afraid of that route. Fact is, I really hope we can go through that route without running into one Nintata. Let's go! Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was brought by Team Aqua. I have to get the Dead Angles back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Yeah, yeah, it's always me that's gotta help you. I took one. Ooh, check them out. For some weird reason, I highly doubt that. But I do think I'm going to teach it cut. Teach somebody cut. Of course, he has a matchup. And I'm pretty sure he knows fighting type moves by now. Then again, I don't know. I've never raised a matchup. So I'm not taking any chances. I'm pretty sure they start off with Karate Chop anyway. See, low kick. That's a crit? Wow, you're pathetic. Swampy, show him how to really fight. Throw mud in his face. Mud in your face! Wow. And that was Youngster Joey. What up to your Radita? Guess he left his Radita back in Hoenn. I mean, Johto. Okay, not one set of grass who made it through safely. Let's see if I can call this guy outwards. Here we go. I bug him on a tough let's battle. Well catch a Jose. Luckily enough for me. He only has bug types that don't know bug type moves. Thank god there's no bug gym in this game. Go down, Jesus. Go down, you stupid. Oh no. Yay, he didn't poison. That's awesome. Down with the worm pole. Our next is gonna be. Oh god, why?
I'm not going to be switching to Virginate for obvious reasons. Bug type moves totally rape dark type Pokemon. So yeah. And Virginate is ready to kill. Let's go Virginate. Virginate him. Of course, critical hit. I'm not going back to heal by the way, so you guys get damage, that's your business. I am not risking going through this route twice. And I was bug catcher Jose. I thought I had you. Really? Oh darn it, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. The first time I used Upward, darn, I felt it was overpowered. Fighting it actually made me... Fighting it was kind of difficult, to be honest. But then... As I got, as I raised it, I haven't technically raised, I just leveled it up so it, so it could evolve. Haha, -ha, escape! I don't know how many potions I have, five? I thought I could use some potions on you guys. So you're a nerd. Yep, yeah, you're a nerd. And again, I have no right to talk. I will gladly acknowledge that I am a nerd. But I don't study. Oh god, why it's boy. Come on, black dog, you can do it. You can do it all day long. You know, I realize I've referenced that in every episode so far. I mean, seriously. It's like that's the capture of this elf. You know what? Just screw you so hard right now, Shroomish. Oh, Birch and I are trying to paralyze this one, too. Good. Good job, Birch and Eight. That was cool, kid pattern. I'm in shock. I lost? Duh, I have a gym badge, you don't. Uh, I'll never become an elegant trainer like Roxanne this way. I never knew a rock type trainer could ever be elegant. Oh, I was so close. Oh! So close, we get so far. Unfortunately, I'm getting a ninja ass. Yep, guys, this is what the Mystery Challenge is all about. Getting stuck with Pokemon you don't want to use. It's a trade e Pokemon. It makes its nest at the root of, mighty tr of a mighty tree. Using a whisker, whisker like it's probed its surroundings and pitch black darkness of soil. So we now have I'm a ninja. Doesn't that suck? But we've acquired a Fort Misfit. So I can't exactly say it's all bad. Yep, 
There you go, Birchnik. If the thunder doesn't go through, then just I'll just move to the top. It's a dead end up here. And boy, so can we battle? Hiker Clark and Youngster John Zoom. Geodude and Shroomish. Let's just heal. Let's just heal him. Let's go, Birchinate! Birchinate them! Aha, uh -huh, I saw that move coming a mile away. This game is actually quite predictable, to be honest. First time and only time, but probably ever see someone choose leash like over anything. There you go, I'm a ninja. Oh, come on. Lota, Lota. Oh, come on. Now he's going to flinch. Why do you want to attack the level 6 guy? That's not feel. Good job, I'm a ninja. Still no level? Good job, Burgeoning. Let's see how fast we can get through this battle. Speed motion time! Of course, paralysis. And I'm almost out of headbutts. Nice! Of course, even if I lower his defense, they'll just increase it. I'll just lower it for our ninja to do some damage. But of course, he's just gonna keep increasing his defense. Jerk! Jerk face! Come on, I'm a ninja! Finish this guy off! Nice! Good job! Still no level for I'm a ninja? Wow! That stuff usually made me tired. That was fun even though I lost. How much more experience do you need? I mean, you're level 6 and you didn't level up from any of that. Wow. Sometimes I'm definitely not going to enjoy raising you. We'll rock you hard. I highly doubt that. And that sounds so wrong in so many ways. And he starts off with a Judy. Wow. Let's go, Swampy! Uh, excuse me here. Uh, excuse me again. <laughs> the Misfit Challenge is really fun when you get around to it, but it can be difficult. Not gonna lie. I mean, it gives you... The variety of Pokemon it gives you will piss you off sometimes. I should know. I'm, I've already done it once and it wasn't exactly fun. It was more... Oh, come on! Stuck with this Pokemon and that Pokemon. And then some of the Pokemon I complained about ended up being the best Pokemon on my team. And by that I mean Plusle. And since Plusle is pretty much the counterpart of my Minon, I've actually banned Minon as well. Probably should have put that in the official update video or something like that, but they're pretty much the same Pokemon, so it really makes no sense. If you use one, you shouldn't be allowed to use the other. 
Now with that, we've taken out that guy, so Hacker Devon was defeated. Ay ay ay! No contest at all. I should try different Pokemon attacks. That's what I ought to do. Yeah, whoa, what's going on? Well, Ziggins is now without any tools. When some food ordered me out. I tell us where the Pokemon that react by the loud noises. Sick would cause an uproar. That's why I stepped in heavy equipment for Tony Lane. I'm always what? That Goon will do something stupid and start the Pokemon into an uproar. Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, peak when I went. When we were jumped by an odd thug. The scum were made off with my darling Pico. Roar! Pico! Anyway, next time on Pokemon Emerald Misfit Challenge, we go inside that cave and save Pico. I'll see you guys in the next part. Ooh.